Kalina Hutchins. An update tonight to a story we've been tracking through four investigates. Today, the federal government issued a license for an interim high level nuclear waste facility in southern New Mexico. But the U.S. doesn't have a permanent site for nuclear waste. And the state just passed a law that prohibits such a project from moving forward. So, foreign investigator Matt Grubbs sorts it all out. This is something a lot of people expected, whether they're for the project or against it. The federal government can license a facility no matter what New Mexico laws say. Does that mean it's going to get built, though? Not at all. New Mexico law doesn't just oppose the plan. It blocks state agencies from issuing permits for nuclear waste storage. In fact, just next door in Texas, the feds licensed a facility that has yet to be built and is mired in lawsuits. That's kind of where we think Holtec's high store facility is headed. Eddie and Lee County, along with Hobbs and Carlsbad City Councils, they formed a group to bring Holtec to New Mexico. They have pushed hard for it, but whether they they are going to join a lawsuit is a little bit up in the air. The Eddy County Commission just voted unanimously to stay out and to order their representatives to that group I talked about to stay out of a suit by the company against the state. Carlsbad, on the other hand, voted to tell their representatives in the group to say yes to joining a suit. All right, so let's take a look at High Store. It's halfway between Carlsbad and Hobbs, just over the Lee County line. And we can take a little bit of a closer look at what that license does. It's for 500 casks at or below ground of spent nuclear fuel. We're talking uranium rods and huge steel casks for 40 years. The site, though, can hold 10,000 of those canisters as it's planned, but every time they want to do another 500 canisters, that's a new phase, and they need to have an amendment to the license. Holtec, as you would imagine, is celebrating the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's decision and really touting the project as well as, as well engineered, I should say. Uh, environmental groups, some residents, law makers, state office holders like the governor and the attorney general this afternoon. They say the project is too risky to go forward, specifically getting that nuclear waste here by rail through New Mexico. They are urging the state to continue its fight. Back to you. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission also launched a special investigation at a uranium enrichment facility in Eunice. This comes after a safety incident involving a crane last month without the proper protocols in place. The inspection will last several days as the feds assess the effectiveness of previous safety measures.